Rise is a productivity application that wants to help you track your time. It basically tracks everything that you do on your desktop and produces reports and analytics on how you spend your time. It is secure and uses end-to-end -end encryption and has a Mac and Windows app to automatically capture the time spent on the desktop focused windows. And it'll help you to stop browsing websites that you don't want to. It is priced at $9.99 per month for the annual pricing. And if you want to bill per month, it's $16.99. And I wanted to share some of the abilities you have inside this app and what makes it special in the productivity space. So I was able to get started playing around with it and the concepts are fairly simple. The application is sort of designed like a calendar app so that you can see where you're spending your time and you can basically look at analytics of daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly to get a breakdown of where you're spending your time. And this is primarily by tracking what you're doing automatically and breaking it into focus, meetings, breaks, and other. And it does this by basically just utilizing accessibilities. So you basically just let it run in the background and in the bottom left hand corner, you can see where the tracking is on. In general, this application has two push metrics, which are essentially projects and goals, which will allow you to really set a definition of what you're aiming towards. You can assign any of your focus time towards that, or you can track a project in the background over the activity that you're doing. Now, obviously, as the activity is tracking, it gets a sense of what you're focusing on. So for example, as you it learns about you, it'll pick up what categories you typically go on. And of course, begin to recommend projects associated to the time. But you can either manually track or you can track automatically, which will help you save a bit of time. Now, I started a few sessions and the focus sessions were quite easy to start. You can also set music in the background, which was really nice. There's some AI abilities in here, like overworking, break notifications, as well as distraction notifications. For example, I went on product hunt during a writing session that I associated to a project and it gave me an indication quite quickly that I shouldn't be on the site that I was on. And it directed me back to try and keep focused. Now, in terms of the general analytics that you get, they're quite helpful. It gives you a breakdown of where you're spending your time and what apps you went into, which is really helpful. It'll also help with the timer to help you to set a timer and see that in the Mac menu bar. Well, at least I could. There was a desktop extension, but it just kept flashing for me, which might just be a bug, but I didn't quite like that being quite omnipresent on my desktop. Uh, and it being sort of in the background. I much prefer that when setting a timer to have it in the Mac menu bar. After each of the sessions that you have, you can get a session breakdown, which gives you an indication of what focus time you actually spent on the task at hand. For example, if you started writing and you had a mission for writing, then it's gonna indicate that you weren't necessarily spending quality focus time. So whatever you've associated to do, it will naturally help to define what task you're working on. There is an ability to create breaks as well. So for example, you can start a break and it'll block the screen so you can go away. And I actually didn't set a break, but what it did is when I closed my laptop and went away, it assumed I was having a break, which was sort of helpful, but could be that I was working on something offline. In general, this application is quite detailed. It has Google and Outlook calendar integrations, ways to connect up with your meetings, session timers, and also a good set of focus music, which I was fairly impressed with. And it also has a way to track projects, clients, and task tracking manually, which is very helpful. Overall, this application is a lot of information. For some people, it might be a great way to be much more accountable, but for others, it might be overkill of information. It's available through Mac and Windows and has some AI abilities. It is a really interesting app and one that I'm glad I reviewed here on Toolfinder. If you're interested in diving into more applications like this, you can jump over to Toolfinder, explore more focus apps, and in particular ADHD apps to help you to better 
your workflows. One of these, and many people find that these sort of applications help their ADHD and keep track. And we've just added a bunch of more recent apps for ADHD and living with it. So thank you very much. And I hope this was helpful in giving you insights into what the rise is like for you.